No. Everybody always leaves. I called episode 12 Fiona Interrupted because the idea of who she thought she would be has been interrupted by events. And she's forced into having to figure out, what do I do now? Fiona and Steve, they finally have figured it out how to try to be together. You know, we look at it as the end of The Graduate, where they're on the bus and they're together, and it all seems good, and yet absolutely no questions have been answered in the two years that they've been together. It's one thing to be in love, and it's another thing to take people who are from very different worlds with very different needs and responsibilities and to mesh those into a life. As much as Steve altruistically feels like that's where he should be and that he'll be happy there, there's going to be a lot of reality that sets in that he's going to have to deal with. They're going to put mom back on her meds. They're going to make her better. She's not better on her meds. She gives up everything she loves in life. Yeah, like what? Us. One of the things that we try to do all the time on the show with Monica and also with Frank is, yes, they're funny and we laugh at them and everything else, but they have significant real-world problems that underlie this. And as much as Monica wants to be healthy and be the mother and do all these things, she's really not capable and she'll never be capable. And we are able to get away with a lot of things that we do on the show. The kind of absurdity of the show, the laughter, the kind of very black humor, because it's actually grounded in a world that's real. You should go home. Well, you kick me out. Get your hats back in the house and stop thinking so much. Life is full of surprises. The ones that you least expect to hear what you should do from are the ones that usually tell you what you should do. Lip turns to Mandy Milkovich. She ends up in all of her sort of calm sluttiness to be the one who actually kind of gets him and tells him what he should be doing and to stop being an idiot. He's seen that the girl that he really loved has made a lot of decisions that really hurt him. And he realizes, why, why am I out here living on my own, trying to do this, getting hurt over and over again when I got a family who loves me and supports me and we'll figure it out. So, Lip's back at home. Karen's left and Jody and Sheila have the baby. And Steve's there and Frank's in the yard getting snowed on, passed out like always. And nobody knows what's gonna happen next. It's actually a very sad day when we finish shooting. There's this sense of when do we get to get back and do this again? We love these characters and love this world. It's this great license to talk about what's going on in this wild way that we do on the show, but that actually has a lot to say about how we live as families and as people. <laughs>